2024, the year the global government takes shape. This is the year that the uh, uh, global government would discreetly uh, show themselves. They'll show their hand. They'll show that they um, they want to uh, have control over every aspect of your life. This is the year that it will all come to fruition. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jdatacyclotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Let's talk about these global elite the uh, globalists, the Illuminati, the New World Order, whoever you want to call this global cabal, this entity. Uh, the ultimate objective is absolute control over every aspect of every individual's life globally. And that's why I talk about power and control so much. Uh, it seems like almost every video because that's exactly what they're trying to do. But this goal has been evident for years, especially during the COVID rollout, where establishment figures openly endorsed it, marking an acceleration of the globalist agenda. And despite a potential setback, the overarching goal persists, though it may have receded into the shadows. The conceptual understanding of their objectives is clear, but the practical implications remain uncertain. That's what we're still trying to figure out. But contrary to common, common misconceptions, a world government won't overtly declare itself, nor will it abolish nationhood or officially change existing systems. Instead, globalism may manifest as nation states in name only, operating seemingly distinct systems underpinned by shared assumptions and answering an unelected higher authority. The three pillars of global rule are digital money, digital ID, and climate action. This is why I talk about these things so much. This is why I have so many videos on those, those pillars. Well, over 90% of nations are transitioning to central bank digital currencies or CBDCs, facilitating global coordination through inter, uh, inter, inter ability. Um, digital identity, touted as a solution to various issues pose a similar threat to human rights and can be interconnected globally. They want to get rid of anonymity so they can account for every single dollar that you have and you spend and where it goes and what can you spend it on. And climate action becomes the subtle mechanism for global governance. Climate change is portrayed as a crisis requiring international cooperation and its scope extends to cover diverse areas like energy, health, trade, and education. Through this lens, international panels of experts appointed by the UN can recommend policies globally, creating a de facto, a de facto global government without a centralized structure. That's how they get away with it. That's how they can say, oh, there is no global cabal. We, that's, how, that's exactly uh, how they can, they can play it off when people start questioning them. And in essence, global govern governance in 2024 is, is distributed, um, deniable, and accomplished through a network of interconnected systems, including digital current currencies, identities, and the all-encompassing filter of climate change. This compartmentalized approach allows for control while maintaining the facade of non-existence, like um, um, like that movie. Uh, that Obama put out where they try to say, yeah, there's no global cabal here. That's even more scarier than having an actual cabal. <laughs> no, it's not. We have a global cabal and it's very scary. And the reality is very real despite official denial. But um, let me know what you think about this. Do you think 2024 will be the year that will usher in the new New World Order? Uh, leave your comments down below, like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.